What's up guys, this is the Rifeman and I am here today to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the 13 Colonies. So to round off where we left off, the French are sallying out of their holdfast in their last remaining territory, Strasbourg, and we're going to do them the honour of slaughtering the crap out of them. So let's fight on. So this... It's getting... It's getting big. We're fighting. We've got lots of battles against Poland. It's, get, it's turning some thoughts every turn that there isn't really... You know, you don't have the downtime of being able to crank through a few turns and need replenishment, so it starts to really cut into your ability to wage wars in the future. But what we're going to do is we are going to pull, pull back, because they've got their mortars, and we are going to hunker down and slaughter them as they crest the hill. That make it very difficult for them to try and flank us. Uh, he goes together, then we've got a few units of here, a few units here as reinforcements. First for the Delphi City Cav on the right, second Dreadnoughts on the left, General in the centre. One howitzer, it's going to just fire quick line like nobody's business. So the artillery field of view is terrible, but when they fire round shot, they usually lob their shells. But we could just manually tell them to aim at the knife. Let's make the howitzers fire round shot just to see if just to see if there's anyone in range, and there isn't. First salvo away. God damn it. I mean, they're pulling back, but I don't see why, because they're the ones that attacked me. All I want is for their mortars to be decrewed. Yes! And then they will attack. I mean, they have attacked us, so... <laughs> Let's idea that... The, the attacker always has the advantage, and they go, yep, unless the defender has such a massive overwhelming superiority that it doesn't really matter. That what's going to happen is these confident field artillery gunners are going to march over the crest of this hill and be slaughtered. Yep, there they go. Only one man made it out alive. So right now the AI is positioning its troops in one almighty line. This can be part of the problem with defensive battles against the AI in forts because all they want to do is form a battle line and then oppose you when in reality that's not really what you want to do. But because we don't have howitzers and I don't really care for defences... Let us push up the crest of this hill. And this infantry I want to put over here. And preferably, let's make these guys run. General up to the front. So obviously, while they're still redeploying, we want to take advantage of this. I want to bring my guns up onto this hill. They're going to try to redeploy again, but I think when we get into position with all our infantry they will be forced to they'll be forced to attack us because our infantry will be close enough that they won't really be able to ignore us 
At least that's, that was my theory. Apparently they can. So let's take these guys. March them up to the edge of the fort. Let's put a unit here to cover the gate. And let's march up some more. a bit of action in a minute. So we kind of forced their hand. So that's the regiment of horse. They're sending in some forces to try and put us off. To try and delay us. But I fear that will not work. made it to the top of the wall. So we're just going to bring my howitzers down to the base of the wall to give them lots of nice cover. I want these guys to capture the gate. Let's actually shrink. I mean this is a very strange AI strategy. AI doesn't usually just fall back. Like there, see the so this the gatehouse is ours. So our guys that are climbing the gate. I mean so that effectively means this cavalry and this artillery is now trapped. Because we own the walls, unless they try and like counter charge us, counter assault us. Okay. Yeah, I think they've uh, they've messed up, messed up big time. Our well, artillery atop this hill has an extremely commanding position. So I don't want to go through this gate. Well, they might force our hand. But I want to get up on the gate and my guys just pour musketry down. Actually, if I set them to do that, they will spread out across more ropes and get up the steps quicker. Okay, so let's take these chaps and cover. Yeah. There you go. These guys are taking. Even though they're on the piece of the wall that's getting shot at, they're. Climbing up more ropes. So the cavalry is going to go in against the militia. to shatter this unit here. Good. To be honest, go straight on to that unit of militia. There we go. We're almost all atop the walls and they're just going to fire down into the gate and utterly destroy the French. Okay, they're shattered. Go after the regiment étranger. They're dead. Let's push the line up like this. Let's push our forces here. We're really decisively against the militia. 
There we go. It's the garrison on the walls, and they're going to just pour musketry. Regiment HRJ shattered. Push this flank up. Let's push this flank up a lot. Because they've surrendered a lot of ground to us. Pour more fire into their horse artillery. Me, yeah, this is. Oh, they can get out when they please. That's unfulfilling. Should we direct our artillery fire to focus on this square formation? Let's go into square formation. Get these guys up on this section of the wall. Let's get one unit to run in and kill that horse artillery unit. All of these guys are now surplus to requirements. Because the enemy chose a rather strange strategy when it came to defending its own fort. Okay, these men are going to go here, take up the cannon. Oh no, no they're not, they're going to rout before that even happens. Okay, they've been wiped out. First Philadelphia, marching on. To be honest, it's all of them. Yeah, that's all of them, alright. Absolutely continue. Let's turn off the howitzer though. My general's probably a bit too far away not to get involved. Well, I say that. My men might have something to say about these guys getting away. Two more men to kill there. One. Charge on to the ninth. And charge on and kill them. Sweet. There's only one guy left. <gasps> he got away. All my cavalry. Converge. It's one horse artillery gunner. By God, will he f wish he'd never been born? Well, even better than that, he's gonna die. So smash through our cavalry with no casualties. You poor soul. You were just too high strung. Boof. Decisive victory. So I don't know how many turns they had left of their faction. Well, the end of the end of the French Empire. Nah, no, sadly not. Uh, they demand military access. No. Who are you to demand anything from me? But our main adversary, the Poles, are gathering their armies. We must crack them open. So we've taken Berlin. God, they are gathering. They're they're falling back, and they are. Ooh. I mean. Uh, yeah, let's fight that. I was debating whether not to auto resolve it. I wasn't concerned if I was gonna. Um, I was concerned if once to fight all crappy if I didn't.
let us engage. We must keep fighting the Poles in every possible, at every possible opportunity. So our artillery are going to stay, stay in unlimbered, or stay limbered out. Drop a couple of units on the flank here. Let's drop a couple of units on the flank over here. I mean, I can't <laughs> Okay. I know they're coming towards us. They're they're attacking us, but I want to attack them. Fire support, which means our howitzers are probably good enough. So we have a Lancer regiment that's going to get, try and get up to no good. Arrang arranging themselves in wedge formation, so let's just charge them before they have a chance to charge. Get our, yeah, well, our howitzers are on the march. Well, they're not on the march, they're ready to fire. Down onto the enemy artillery. So we've stolen the march on the poles. They're weak. Lancer tactics and trying to interfere with our deployment have been foiled. I mean, no, oh, the dragoons are dismounting. I see you. Okay, let's get the Grenadier Guards out on the flank and deliberately keep them in, in square formation. General's Bodyguard. Everyone except the General. Nope, General's had enough. Now you're in square. Let's get these guys to help my cavalry. These guys are big enough to support the entire position. So these guys can secure this small hill. Perfect. Position's not that great, probably want to be more like here. We don't have any cavalry to chase them down, but I mean damn. Use cavalry to chase them down when you've got a bucket load of artillery. But you can just so comprehensively beat them on the field that you don't even really care that you can't chase them down. But look, the entire, the entire forces are out in. We've got one strong unit of line infantry. Mortars to target them. Let's see if we do target them. Nope, they slowly creep forward. Okay, you 
guys can you guys can fill in the gap. These guys, your battle is over. Fourth regiment of foot is trying to open up. Yeah, they've broken down as well. They're just going to be in the 74th. Smartly wants more. Oh, I might just cheat and just run him in quickly onto the flank before we have a chance to fire the first volley. Now, oh, there they go. <laughs> At least you've smashed the Polish army before it can do much trouble. Spit galleywags. There we go, cleared nearly a 9 to 1 ratio. Glens can take time. They've not got as much empire to, to run as they, as they have for a long time. But the Russians can take a while, because they now own Ankara, Istanbul, lots of areas in... Lots of areas in... Um, the Balkans. So we're not really bothered about America at the minute. The focus is Europe. Yeah, the, the Württemberg forces are uncomfortable because they're the next. The classes have written a letter of demands to your national leader. Have they? I'm sure they'll go away in a minute. Okay, rebuild Leonard's army, same with Sheridan. Let's rebuild you. Yes, sir. Tristan needs reinforcing. Still might be a turn or so before we get to you, Riley. Let's build a unit of irregulars to help beef out the garrison. Then we can repair. The Royal Palace at Cologne. Reinforce all of their forces. Oh dear, his crisp is. Are we going to attack it? Yeah, why not? There, I always seem to look. I seem focused on unit cards rather than the strength of the units that are actually there. Like I was looking there, going, "Oh, that's a big arm. <laughs> it's tiny." All their forces are about half or a third of the size they should be. But this is the final death of the French Empire, which is... So... Not a whole lot smart... Not a whole lot of smart stuff going on here. Let's take... A bunch of troops. All off on the flank. We've only got three units here, but that's all we really need. Oh no, there is a fourth. There we go. Got the cavalry behind. There was bodyguard in the centre. Okay, all focus on the same three. Oh no! Will they even fire and will it go horribly wrong? No, they will not. So that army needs to limber up. Let's use the howitzer to pluck away at the gendarmerie in the centre. And let's speed up time. So I'll deploy just a little bit to the side. There we go. Now they should be ready to rock and roll. To also fire at that section of the wall. Bang. Good. 
the roll off. The howitzer hasn't yet to land any hits. So let's have a look. Oh, they're still not aiming at what I want them to shoot at. Okay, well if that's your game, all focus on this section of the wall. Killed a bunch of them trying to climb down the wall. Yeah, all aim at this section of the wall. Always like making it two breaches. Then it also gives the enemy, if there's an immediate counter attack, um, it immediately gives the enemy an aim point. Okay, this sallying their cavalry out. I was going to say. Well, let's start pushing up our assault forces. While our guns work on breach number two, and while our howitzer works on plucking away at the forces guarding the first, the first breach. I don't think they can, so they might actually go hitting the royal horse. It looks like all the shots are bouncing and hitting the wall. So they're going to aim at this army unit first. Oh, hey! Try to get some good damage done against their generals. Our first first units here push up. Then when the assault begins, we'll go back to regular time. We'll put two. Okay, hold on. Two units here. Here. Okay, now you might have to run. Okay, so you climb that section of the wall, you climb that section, you go straight up there. These two hold position here. Also come in to hold position. And you come in to hold position. Four squares, because the AI is being silly. It's not their general at least. These guys pull back because they are trying to sally file our calm citizenry out to try and interfere with our operation and against whom we will just charge into. Halt. Halt. Because in the 107th we'll pour musketry into the 2nd Regiment of Foot. Oh god, why? That was... That was really bad. Push up. Push In. Fire will off. So they're winning decisively. Let's 
triggering people off the walls without necessarily charging the breach, because that's what these guys are going to do. You guys, stop firing. Oh, these guys, these bold people. Yeah, why are you running down the front? Just run at the back. So push in and then attack the garrison in the ship. And you. Take out that last militia man. All of these guys try to kill the last French units, which is a bit overkill. You don't really have to be smart in this particular battle. There's two men left. Send a unit of fusiliers to occupy the breach. Take the gendarmerie. white-coated Frenchman, it's their officer as well. Ah, oh, they got him. General, their uh, captain. Houses are dropping in, so let's turn the houses on. Yeah, we're slightly losing the fight, the other breach, but to be honest, we don't really care because we've got a bucket load of troops and we've got a bucket load of guns, so you get in there. Far into their backs. Struggled to kill the last handful of troops. Not oh, fine, 52 seconds, it'll all be over. The Gildy Regiment moving in. Yep, yeah, they've done a good job against this unit. What if I pull them back? Will you follow me, most important? Turn off fire. Well, let's use like who's there is to pour fire into the following troops. Pretty sure they're attacking the guys up on the top. Yeah. This has been this. This battle is the end of the French. The last of the French in this campaign. Done. Finito. Poof. <laughs> Not quite heroic. It was a bit like a Mark Brothers routine, I must admit. 
Well, there we go. Territory is ours. So let's rebuild Amadeus's army. Reinforcements are good. Let's put a church school to start trying to get some Protestant members of the cloth. Just keep upgrading everything. Good stuff. No, actually, first I did talk about re about building a new army to attack the UK. That's a good idea. There we go. So the letter, Ryan Lance had a letter of demands, but that's okay. Bavaria sent a letter of demands. They're still not okay, but they will be. Send our light entry back to raid them. We're repairing everything in there. You're replenishing. Everyone's replenishing. Sweet. I think everything is largely going to plan. So I might build a ship. Well, let's build. Let's build a regular sloop. Get ready to transport. This army to Tangier to stop Britain from being frustrating. The Russians are still still haven't really gone for us here in Athens. I mean they can raid, but that's okay. I'm happy to let them raid. But at some point we have the awkward proposition of declaring on Prussia. But they're a protectorate of Dagestan, and Dagestan has we're very friendly with Dagestan. Some for some reason, probably because of lots of allies with friends. Oh, we made peace with them. Enemy of enemies, my friend. My national leaders command respect. Respect, damn right they do. Rufus Hawkins, what are you good for? Okay, you're good. Plus one management. Plus one management. Plus one management to justice. Oh, I can't. Oh, it's because I'm a it's bloody elections. I don't want to hold an election because everyone's broadly okay. Lots of sloops have been recruited. I can strike. Oh, cry me a river, France. You swine. Good. Ooh, we've got two rakes. So let's send one to infiltrate Antigua. Set one to infiltrate Panama because New Spain's one of those countries one of those regions that ready, has actually ready. got Make ready. too many troops. I mean, granted it's, they're not great armies but damn if they got a lot of them. Okie dokie. But yeah once we take Britain Hmm. We need to. Okay. So we're getting our. We are getting our navies in order. So let's take. This first fleet. Deploy them to Cartagena. Let's take. Any orders? Let's say this is the beginning of a new fleet. Although I would like to get rid of these sloops. Or at the very least have the sloops near near places I want to immediately blockade. Don't have any money, which is unfortunate. Um, I'm pretty sure it's my main fleet to the south. You've been here all game as a protection measure. Ooh, lots of stuff we can upgrade. Lots of f oh no, we can't upgrade farmlands. We don't have selective breeding. Uh, you get on to steam engine. You get on to free trade. Yeah, you got free trade. That's okay. So our last is ours. And looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.